Okay. It's about to take four on this, but we're going to get it right here. So, uh, before we get into Happy Kid too much, I just wanted to do a lesson on the bar chords. Because this song doesn't uses bar chords. Actually, they're not exactly bar chords, but we'll get to that later. Um, this material I want to cover here is pretty universal. I, you'd rarely have a song where some of this didn't apply somewhere in the song. So, you know a lot of open chords which are played here. You know, uh, E major, E minor, A major, A minor, D major, D minor, G, C, and F. Sometimes you know this little F. You might know the full bar F. Well, this F looks just like this E. That low battery sign, I'll just miss that. Um, this F, if you notice, looks just like this E. And truthfully, you can play every chord you need to with this one shape of an F. I should say you can play every major chord you want to, because this is an F major, this is a G major, this is an A major, this is a B major, this is a C major, this is a D major, and then back to a high E major. Notice how that at the 12th fret sounds basically like that, but higher. I'm using the same finger shape on all these. E, F, G, A. So, and let's note for a second, here's a G major as a bar chord. Well, here it is as an open chord. When I play them fast, you can barely tell the difference. If I play them note by note, you can still just barely tell the difference, but here it is. Here it is, open chord. Sounds so similar. If I play it this way, it sounds a little different. All these are totally minor differences because the simple truth is we're playing a G major chord. It's going from this to this. Slightly different selection of the way that we're throwing together the G's, the B's, and the A's, or sorry, D's, but I think you get the idea. It's it's a bar chord. So here's an A major. Here it is played as an open chord. It adds this higher note. It has a little different character to it. Here's a C up on the eighth fret. Here's a C open. So, with this F chord shape, which is really the same as the E chord shape, you can make all the major chords right up the neck. You can do G sharp major on the 4th fret, there's G on the 3rd fret. So, um, A on the 5th fret. That's that shape. Now the other shape is the A shape. This one is not, you don't use the sixth string on this. So with an A major chord, these, are, these three fingers are on the second fret. People do it different ways, but... So that's an A major. You could take that shape, and you can't really manage, I can't, my fingers don't do this well. You can't really manage to duplicate the A major shape as a bar chord. There are some people who's, where this finger gets just the second, third, and fourth strings and allows you to bar these ones. Um, I just find it impossible to get the first string right there. Think about your A major shape. And then think about 
sliding that all up two frets. Well, these three fingers would happily go to there, but you need to have a finger left to bar it down here. So to get that A major shape, you're trying to get this place, this place, this place, this place, and this place. That would be the same as the A, you know, the A major shape in the open position. So B major looks like this, and you, you know, some people manage to do it this way, barring here, and then three fingers on the second, third, and fourth string here. Let's see if I can do it. With great effort, I'm almost doing it. What I usually just do is just forget about the, the first string here, and just bar these, mute the first string, and catch that fret right there. Do that in this song too, by the way, Happy Kid. So you've got two movable chord shapes now. There's these two main ones. There's there's a few others, but E. We'll call it the E bar chord shape. And then the A bar chord shape. All these are major chords. Again, you'll notice the starting shape of an A is still the power chord part. So it's it's actually the second string in this shape that makes it the major. If I drop that note to here instead of there, if I move it to there with this finger, then it looks like this. You can hear the minor aspect of it. Putting it back to major. Same thing with an A major and minor. Here's A major. Here's minor. I'm going to drop that one note. Again. Minor. In both of these bar chord shapes, there's only one note. That's the third. Remember, we've got a third. We've got, like... It's, there's the first note we call the third note and the fifth note. And we know that the root note and the fifth note are the power chord. And they don't make it major or minor. It's the third that makes it major or minor. So if you're playing a power chord, you're not playing any thirds. You're just playing a power chord. <laughs> it's just roots and fifths. But it's when you add a third in there that you get whether it's major or minor. So going back to the third, the um, E string, the E uh, bar chord shape. So here's an E chord. That's an E major because of that note right there. If I change that note letting this finger off, now it's an E minor. E major, E minor. That same token, G major. Sorry, that one. If I let that finger up. Right there, in the E power, in the E bar chord shape, is the one that determines whether I have a major or a minor. In the A chord, it's it's the second string. So. I think I've about thoroughly covered this. Um, I'm going to stop this video and continue a little on it and then get into your song.